Well, have you noticed how much more it costs to buy hamburger or steak at the supermarket these days? Beef prices are soaring right now, and it's not only affecting your pocketbook, but also one of Oregon's major industries. Coin Local 6 reporter Ken Body is live now at Auto Sausage Kitchen over there in southeast Portland with more on this. And Ken, beef is more of a luxury item these days, isn't it? It really is, and uh, markets like this try not to pass all the costs on to you, but in some cases, it's just inevitable. Take a look at this ground beef here, $3.99 a pound right now. A year ago this time, it was about $3.49, about a 10% difference. Now, we wanted to find out why there's so much of an increase, so we went right to the source. Beef is the family business for the Goslins. They've run this cattle ranch outside Hillsboro since the early 1960s. But these days, it's hard to make a profit because the cost of everything that goes into raising cattle is going up. Fertilizer is a big one, and that is tied to fuel because the fertilizer is made from fuel. Corn is another one because they're using it for ethanol. So that's driven the price of corn up. Our Everything feed prices are, are double. double or three times more than we were two or three years ago. Add to that a devastating drought that decimated herds in Oklahoma and Texas, and you've got the makings for higher prices for the beef you buy at the market. You can definitely notice uh, right off the bat that, yeah, they've definitely been going up. Justin Denmark is the meat manager at Phil's Meat Market in northwest Portland. He hates having to pass the rising cost of beef on to his customers, but in this environment, he doesn't have much of a choice. This is my future, and I'm going to be here for a little while. So when I hear that the prices are going to be going up significantly for the next couple of years, it kind of makes me a little nervous. Nervous about keeping customers like Jerry Henderson. When the weather's warm, barbecuing can't beat steaks. Henderson says he'll keep buying beef no matter what the price. My only control is that I either buy it or I don't. So if it gets too high, I won't buy it. The Goslins hope it doesn't get to that point. With the kids and everything, but, uh, they got to have a place to grow up. So from production to the consumer, it's all interrelated, and it all trickles down to the prices you pay. Reporting for you live in southeast Portland, Ken Body, Coin Local 6.